Hey there, everyone. Hope you're all staying healthy and creative out there. Today, I wanted to cover a little bit of a different topic. Um, you know, during these strange times, uh, I've drastically changed the way I've lived. I've started working from home, not really going to the gym as normal, you know, pretty much just staying home uh, except for, you know, the essentials like food and whatnot. And I know I'm not the only one out there who has things like insomnia and anxiety that these, you know, these are amplified during these weird times. Um, so here lately, I've been needing something to help me with my creative goals and my professional goals, uh, but more so my creative goals than anything else. So doing some research, watching some videos on YouTube about philosophy, you know, and going down that rabbit hole, I have found something that I have started to implement that actually has been giving me some, some benefits. It has helped me grasp my professional goals and my creative goals, as well as just have a better handle on my emotions. That is writing. Now I'm sure that most of us, like myself, has been introduced to writing before. You maybe have even tried writing before, like I have, but I never really took it seriously. Um, I'm not real sure why, but I just kind of blew it off like it was no big deal. Never really used it uh, as like a tool. But like I said here lately with how the world has been, I've been needing something to help motivate me and help me keep, keep me on track essentially. So I decided to start making notes and track my goals and my thoughts just for a couple days and just see how that went. Essentially, I wanted to see if there was any benefit to having a list of accomplishments or lack of accomplishments throughout the day, as well as just track my good and bad, you know, pretty much emotions along the way. Um, before we jump in any further, I do want to just go ahead and say that writing has helped me a lot. It has provided a huge benefit to me, and I would very much recommend uh, writing if you haven't tried it for yourself already. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in. Now, obviously, my goals are my own and your goals should be your own. And I'll just have some basic dummy goals, if you will, uh, just for this video. Um, but it's really the structure that I have found here that is really most beneficial, or at least that has benefited me the most. Um, so just sort of follow the structure. So first, what you want to do is you want to make a to-do list. Now, this to-do list is stuff that you need to get done for the day, stuff that is non-negotiable. Um, this could be like complete your work shift, uh, work out, stretch in the morning, drink water, things like this. Um, so we'll start with that, a to-do list. Then once you have your to-do list done and you know, you can have check mark boxes as I do to, you know, go throughout the day and check them off. Um, once you have that, you know, laid out, then you want to make what I call the notes section, which is comprised of good and bad notes throughout the day. Um, so for example, everything that happens during the day that you would consider positive or good, you would write that down. Uh, for example, I slept well, or I'm healthy, or I found a $5 bill, um, something along those lines. It could be something super simple. It could be something, you know, very specific, uh, whatever, just anything that you would consider positive. And then likewise, you would do the same thing with everything bad that happens during the day. So anything that makes you upset or angry, anything that has any sort of negative uh, association with it, write that down as well. And, you know, you can write these down at the beginning of the day or you can write them down at the end of the day. Um, you know, you can write them. I like to write them down throughout the day. So I'll take a few minutes here and there and write down, you know, updates pretty much. Then. At the end of the day, you want to review it. Um, you want to review what you got done on your to-dos, what you didn't get done on your to-dos. Uh, that will be a motivational thing for you right there. And then you want to review your good and bad notes. Then after reviewing, that's pretty much it. So you, you write everything down and you review it at the end of the day. And, and that's how I've been using writing to benefit me. Um, now there's actually a couple reasons that I want to dive into as to why this has benefited me or I feel like why it benefits people this sort of daily stoic writing, if you will. Making a to-do list compels you to actually set goals and actually achieve those goals. There is a saying I like, it goes something like, five minutes of preparation saves 20 minutes of action. And I find that very true. And another thing, it's kind of minor, but for me at least, I don't know about you guys, but checking off a to-do list throughout the day is very satisfying. And then at the end of the day, when you review your list, you're showing your efforts bluntly and simply. 
you either did what you're supposed to or you didn't and if you're like me trust me you'll feel those check mark boxes that you didn't get done you will feel them the second reason i like this sort of daily stoic writing is making a list of all the positive and negative things uh, that happen to you or that you feel throughout the day really puts those things into perspective for you me i usually make sure that my first note of the day is something positive whether i if i don't even feel good or, or something didn't really happen that great the day before i'll just simply say you know i'm alive or i'm healthy uh, it's still a good thing to, to wake up and be able to, to write something down and especially the negative things. Writing the negative things and the negative feelings that you have down really puts those things into perspective uh, and it really, you know, frees your mind of that space. Writing it down just makes those negative emotions just easier to handle, really, in my opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We covered how I use writing, like my structure of writing that I, I find most useful um, and, you know, the reasons why I feel like it helps me. And so, I, you know, if you guys haven't tried writing and you haven't seriously tried using it as a tool to help you throughout your day, week after week and so forth, then I very much recommend that you do. Um, yeah, just try it. And if you, if you don't like it, then just quit. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay healthy and stay tuned. See ya.